Hillbilly Half Acre Homestead. We uh been talking about some rabbit genetics and we had some people who wanted to know about the broken gene. And I think more specifically, pretty much how it works and how you can breed to either get a broken or not get a broken. And honestly, the way it works, uh, the broken gene is pretty easy to understand, okay? To get a broken baby out of your litter, one of the parents has to be broken, okay? And basically, all the broken gene does is this is a solid self-colored rabbit here. All the broken gene does is just like you took a brush and did like this and flipped it on the wall full of paint, it slaps a little white in places around the rabbit. It, and it colors and it covers up this color. Okay? So they we breed for a specific pattern, okay? Blueberry has got a pretty good pattern, but more, but more importantly, Blueberry is throwing a better pattern than his in all of his babies. He, he is, for my liking, his pattern is a tad heavy. So, Junior, shut up. His, his pattern is just a tad heavy, but everything else about him I really like so we deal with it and guess what it worked out because like I said his children actually have a better pattern than he is I've got I've had one heavy broken black in a litter that's heavy like his the rest of them have more white in this area look at the static <laughs> static pulling that well you can't see that never mind <laughs> anyway uh, <coughs> so the way the broken gene works is either the rabbit has it or it doesn't Okay, the broken gene is dominant. If the rabbit has a broken the broken gene that makes it broken like this, it will actually be broken. In other words, rabbits cannot carry broken. Okay, so if they've got a gene, the gene in the, in their DNA that causes the broken pattern, it's going to show on their coat. Is that clear as mud? <laughs> no, uh, but no, seriously, uh, it, it's, that's what makes it so simple. Is if you don't see it, it's not there. It's those recesses that get carried that you can't see. For instance, uh, I don't know, we know that Morgan, or not Morgan, uh, we know that uh, Hershey, she's not a blue bunny, but she carries blue. How do we find that out? We can't find that out by looking at it, right? How we found that out was by doing test breedings, and the first time that she had a baby that turned out blue, we knew that she carried blue because blue has to come from each parent in order to have blue in the in, in the litter. So, uh, but not to get not to get off subject here. But the broken is just simply that simple. If you have two, if you breed a broken. To a broken. Um, you can end up with rabbits in that litter that have a double dose of the broken gene. And what, what you will have is they will have little spots. Most of the color will be on their head. And we call those Charlies. Okay. Now you see Blueberry's little blue mustache here? A lot of times on a Charlie you got a little bare spot right here in the center and two little squares of color on either side right there. It looks like a Charlie Chaplin mustache. And that's why we call them Charlies. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, uh, if you've got a Charlie, if you've got a Charlie, they have less than 10% color, not desirable for show. A lot of times uh, I've heard people showing Charlies that didn't get DQ'd. Less than 10% color in most breeds is considered a disqualification in a broken. Okay, and for, in fact, probably all breeds, to my knowledge. Every, every breed that I know about, less than 10% color, 10, uh, yeah, less than 10% color is a disqualification. Uh, all right, but 
you can keep those Charlies as breeders. Here's the trick. If a parent throws one of its two genes on any particular locus on that DNA strand to the kit, if the rabbit has two broken genes, or has a broken gene on both, you know, both alleles are broken, guess what? It's going to throw that broken gene to every rabbit in the litter. So, what what makes having a Charlie rabbit uh, desirable, even though it's not it's not good for show, is you can take that Charlie rabbit, breed it to any solid colored rabbit that you have, any of them. One hundred percent of the kits are going to come out to be broken. One hundred percent, every single rabbit. No ifs, ands, or buts. Now, that's only if that broken is a Charlie. If it's a regular broken like this, you could still get some solids in the litter, breeding to a solid. For instance, okay, Iris's first litter was actually sired by Blueberry. That was the first litter we got out of Blueberry uh, after he came to us. And Iris actually had one broken baby. She only had two. But she had one broken baby and one solid blue baby. Okay. Now, had, had Blueberry been a Char Charlie, both of those babies would have been broken. Okay, uh, so Charlies, Brokens, and self-colored rabbits. Uh, if you have an agouti or a chestnut, or in many wrecks, it's called, uh, it's called caster. You can breed a broken to those, and you can actually get broken casters. Uh, if you throw in the dilute gene, you can get broken opal. You can get broken link. You can get broken in any color. And the way, and if you're planning on showing a broken, no matter what color it is, brokens show against brokens. So, for instance, in the New Zealand breed, now, because of the ad recent addition of the blue variety, in New Zealand's, in the broken variety, we have broken red, broken black, and broken blue. All three of those compete together in one category. It's just called broken. So no matter what color they are, so if you've got mini wrecks, and you know there's a lot of different colors possible in the mini wrecks breed, a lot of them recognized. Okay, uh, any of those with the broken pattern, if they're if the solid color is recognized, that same color can be shown in the broken category. Okay, uh, but it's going to be like he's a he's a broken blue. In the same class as him, there can be broken lilac, broken black, broken chocolate. There can, any, anything that's broken is going to compete. They're going to all compete, okay? No one, regardless of color, it, they just have to be broken. The same thing with otters. Otter. Otters compete against otters, okay? It don't matter what color, your otters are going to compete together. Or at least that's what the standard says. Uh, so, that, in a nutshell, is the broken gene. The broken gene is really a lot simpler than, 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 than a lot of people give it credit for. Um, one thing that a lot of people don't know, and I probably, maybe I should uh, throw this out there, okay? Harlequin, many wrecks do come in a, in a harlequin color, which is basically, basically an orange or a red and black or a fawn and blue. If you mix the broken color in with that harlequin, you, that's how you get a tricolored rabbit, okay? And a tricolored rabbit is basically, yeah, it's just that. It's a broken harlequin. That's what a tricolored rabbit is. I'm putting the blueberry away. Get in there, buddy. And while I've already figured off, well, actually, this is on subject, but I wasn't really planning on doing this, but we'll... We'll take a look here at Morgan. Morgan, come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh, let me get her out of here. There we go. Yes, yeah, a girl. There she goes. That's a girl. Now, Morgan is the only tricolor that we have here. Okay. If if she was not a broken, she would be what is called a harlequin, a fawn in blue. Okay. She's a fawn in blue. This is not black. This is blue. And this is a fawn color. And see, all that is is a fawn in blue, and it's been hit with that broken gene to put the little white splotches. That's how you end up with three colors on one rabbit. 
and that's the only way to my knowledge that you're going to do that uh, don't quote me on that though because there's a lot of rabbits I haven't seen a lot of rabbits I haven't dealt with but the tricolor is technically a broken and the tricolors uh, I believe I'll have to look at the standard okay if, if you need to know or want to know get with me in the comments or something I'll have to look at the standard but I think tries I think tricolor rabbits also compete against broken my goodness she wants to go back to her babies here we'll let her go back we'll let her go back come on there, get in there sugar there you go now see you just had to go and show out and now now there's gonna be people all over the world laughing at you because you were showing your butt Anyway, in a nutshell, that's the broken gene. I hope I've covered it. Uh, John and I know John had asked about the broken gene, and I know that I think there was a few others that were looking forward to this video. Uh, sorry, it's taking so long. Uh, we're gonna do some more. Okay, we're not done. And actually, I'm skipping around. I should have gone through through each individual: the A locust, the B locust, the C locust, the D locust, and just went in order, but. I'm skipping around, but you know, bear with me. We'll get it. We'll get her done. Uh, just know ahead of time that there are things that I haven't dealt with in the rabbits that I breed, certain genes and what have you. So I may not know a whole lot about those. And if I don't, I can't really touch on those. For one thing, I haven't dealt with chinchillas. Uh, I haven't dealt with. Uh, well, there's a lot of other. Haven't de uh, dealt with the the Viennas and uh, what have you. I don't think I have any. Yeah, there's nothing here blue-eyed white or anything like that. So, yeah, there's just a lot of stuff that I haven't dealt with, but if I know, if, I, if I've worked with it and I know how it works and what have you and can explain it, I will. But if I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna stand here and just uh, tell you something for the sake of being able to tell you something. I'm gonna tell you, I, I, wanna, I wanna know uh, within reason that what I'm telling you is accurate because it's not gonna help you otherwise. Okay, you have any questions? Send me a comment. Send me an email. Uh, if you got me on Facebook, send me a, send me a PM or drop a post on there. Uh, if I didn't make this clear enough, or if you have follow-up questions or anything like that, uh, you know, sometimes I don't sit down at my computer until late in the day. Sometimes I have gone two or three days without sitting down at my computer. So if you don't get an answer and you send me a question you don't get an answer uh, wait a couple of days and send it again just in case somehow it got lost in the shuffle or something and I missed it because I didn't intentionally ignore you even if I don't have your answer I'm gonna reply to you and let you know that I don't have your answer I, it's not I don't want you to think that I'm just not bothered I don't have time you know sometimes I don't have time but when I do I'll get to it all right uh, so y'all have a great day super great day here in Northeast Arkansas 61 degrees 61 degrees and sunshine and there's a little breeze blowing i hope it's not making a lot of noise in the camera uh, but we can't tell out here i can feel a little breeze but i don't know how much breeze it takes to mess up the audio in my camera out here but anyway as i was about to say y'all have a great day and God bless.